I'll touch just a little bit on some of the special situations. A, a koa seed, for instance, the Hawaiian koa tree. It's an acacia form. And a lot of other legume trees are the same, too. Most of these, I think, in nature, uh, the seeds were kind of used to being maybe eaten by a rodent or some such thing that might have nicked it and then gone through the intestines and the acid in the stomach and so on. So it gets a nick and it gets an acid bath. And so that people do use uh, acids to pre-treat seeds. To, uh, I don't personally, but uh, a very, very, very common way to treat a difficult to germinate seed is to place a nick on the seed. That's called scarification. And you can do that either by rubbing them on sandpaper. You can take a file to the edge a little bit. I often will use a fingernail clipper on koa down the long side of the seed so I don't hurt the uh, important parts of the seed. And I just put the clipper on the edge a little bit and go nick. And when I can see a little bit of white, I know that I've opened the seed coat. That's called scarification. That scratching of the seed to get a hard seed coat open. There is soaking of seeds, and basically you can soak any seed you want to. Uh, I don't like to soak easy to germinate seeds because water or wet seeds are really hard to handle. They stick to your fingers, it's a mess, the soil gets stuck. I like to work with dry seeds personally, but some seeds won't work that way. So if you have to soak a seed like the koa, all right. Um, I use 140 degree water, I take the nicked seeds, I place them in the hot water, and I just let them sit overnight. And by the next day they're usually plumped up pretty good like a ballpark frank, and I'll pick them out one at a time, put them in my pots and plant them. And so soaking in hot water can speed the germination of difficult seeds. Soaking in acids, soaking in gibberellic acid, for instance. Um, then we have one more treatment that we refer to as uh, stratification. You have scarification, which is scratching. Stratification is to take a seed that requires winter in order to germinate and to simulate a wintertime condition or give it an actual winter to get it to come up. And so let's take the pawpaw seed, which is one that requires this kind of treatment, stratification. Fresh seeds, undried, are usually removed directly from the fruit. Those seeds are then planted in a growing medium. Uh, in pots is an easy way to do it. They're watered in in the fall as the fruit is harvested, and then they are just put aside to set and go through the entire winter in the soil with the soil moist. Uh, this will cause the seed, once spring comes, to want to germinate, going through that cold cycle of wet sleep and then coming around to a warm cycle will make the seed sprout and grow. There's a lot of seeds that won't grow at all unless you do that to them. You want to plant a black walnut, for instance, you're going to have to uh, uh, stratify it. it. It won't come up if you just take it and you know, put it out there. And also, a note on that, that there are a lot of seeds that drying is appropriate. Most of our garden seeds, uh, you know, drying is all right when we take a seed and store it. But there's also a lot of other seeds that don't tolerate being dried out. You dry some seeds out. A lot of tropical seed when it's dry, like the ice cream bean, for instance. I have to ship it to you moist, wrapped in moss, because if I dry the seed, it's dead. That's all there is to it. So some seeds are real special, all right, and they require you know, no drying, they require scarification, they require hot water or acid treatments, they require stratification. Um, I, it's true, I think, that a lot of the temperate uh, tree seeds from the mainland U.S. and a lot of the fruit seeds, too, from temperate fruit, they all require going through a period of wet cold. Now, you can simulate it in your refrigerator. If you want to take your pawpaw seeds, Take them out of the fruit, clean the pulp off, put them in a plastic bag, fill the plastic bag up full of sphagnum moss or vermiculite, dampen it so it's a little bit moist, seal it up, stick it in the vegetable crisper in your refrigerator, and wait 90 to 120 days before you plant it. That works too. It's a simulated stratification. 
Um, I find that when I do that, it'll be eight months later, and I'm digging through looking for potatoes, and I go, what, what is this? Oh, my God, I was stratifying seeds. It happens to me a lot. So I tend to, uh, at least when I lived in the mainland, to stratify my seeds in the yard. I just plant them. Let them go through the winter and do their thing. Um, here in Hawaii, I have to put them in the vegetable drawer. We don't have any winter. You can't stratify a seed. And I did simulate cold on pawpaw seeds, and I have a table full of pawpaw seedlings coming up over here right now. All righty, that's it. I have nothing else to say on seeds today. If you have questions and comments, please, you know, enter them uh, in the questions and comments. Um, you know, ideally, you uh, either have uh, something that needs to be covered that I didn't talk in depth about or you need clarification. That's all great. I love to get back to you on stuff like that. Some of you got ideas about doing things that are different than the way I do it. Uh, that's all great, too, and I, I'd like to hear it. I'd like to hear from you, uh, and others probably would, too. There are other gardeners out there that may like to hear that information. You know, I don't generally respond well to people coming up forward and, you, you should do this. I get that a lot. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I don't tell you what to do. What I tell you all is what I do, and if you wish to try to do it, well, it's entirely up to you. I kind of like to have the same respect in return. Um, anyway, aloha. Happy gardening. I hope you have a wonderful spring this year. Hang loose.